just sort of, you know, just go on where like explaining that I'm back to YouTube. Um, I got a lot of requests for the makeup that I'm wearing in that video. It's like a black and white sort of cut crease, um, one with like an orange eye that you see. So I thought I'd do a quick tutorial. Uh, so yeah, so this is just going to be a tutorial for the black and white cut crease. And I'm sorry if it's not great, I'm still kind of getting used to trying to record myself doing makeup. It's a bit awkward, but I'm sure I'll get used to it eventually. And I hope you enjoy it. Thanks. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is use a primer all over your eyelid. You can use a primer, concealer, or even do what I'm doing and just use a little bit of concealer. I just use whatever I had to hand. With this makeup tutorial, the more time you have to spare, the better it's going to be. It involves a lot of blending and building layers, and the more you can do that, the better it's going to turn out. I had to do it quite rushed for this. Now you want to apply white eyeshadow all over your lid. You're also going to want to extend this up underneath your brow bone. You want a really good thick layer of white. Next you want to take an angled brush with some black eyeshadow, I'm using Sugar Pills Bulletproof, and just start drawing a line just above where your crease is. It doesn't have to be particularly neat at this point, just kind of get the general shape you want. Keep on applying it so there's quite a thick layer there. You don't want it to be really thin because it's going to be blended out in a moment. Next you want to take a fluffy blending brush. I don't actually put any extra pigment on it, I just take a clean brush and start blending the black that I've applied. As I said, you're going to want to spend a lot of time on your blending, so just keep on buffing it out. Don't worry if it's too pale at this point, because you're going to be adding more layers. Once you've done that, as I'm doing here, just add another kind of rough layer of black with your angled brush. And as I say, the thicker you get, the easier it will be to spread out. And repeat. You're going to be doing this quite a lot until it starts looking right. If you need to kind of add a bit more shape, you can add a small amount of pigment to your fluffy brush and start blending it up. But just be careful how much you use. You can always add more, but you can't take away. Next, start lining under your eye with the angled brush and some black eyeshadow. I swear I'm not usually this messy, I know there's a lot of fallout. You also want to take a different fluffy clean brush and apply plenty of white eyeshadow again to your lid because you've probably had a bit of fallout and some greyness on there. You also want to uh, take the same brush with lots and lots of white and just really blend it in under your brow bone down into the black. Don't worry if it makes it too pale because you'll be going over it again in a moment with the black brush, as I'm doing right now. Just do this to kind of darken the area again. This should get the best effect for a really good blended look. Once you're happy with how much it's blended, you should start applying your eyeliner. I'm using a gel liner, but you can use whatever works best for you. I like to add a wing to my eyeshadow at the end. Eyeliner, rather. <laughs> I like to add a wing to my eyeliner, is what I meant to say. And I like my point to be quite thick. Next you want to go and want to take the angled brush again with some black eyeshadow and just kind of redefine right in the crease. You don't need to go the whole way up, but just make that area a bit darker. You can also apply over the top of the eyeliner just to set it a bit better. 
and just any other parts that look like they could use with darkening up a little bit, like right here I need to do a little bit under the wing. Your eyelashes will probably be covered in white powder, so you go with, want to put on some mascara. It doesn't need to be perfect, so I'll be applying fake eyelashes. You can stop there, or you can also add some bottom fake eyelashes, which I usually like to do. I think it really just completes the look. I know it's a bit uneven here, but I couldn't really do my makeup properly while filming. Sorry. And this is me applying the bottom eyelash, which turns out to be really hard to do while I'm trying to record. Usually it's not as fiddly. And I'll probably be doing a tutorial on how to apply bottom eyelashes in general at some point, as it seems to be something a lot of people struggle with. I like to apply mine just a bit underneath my natural lashes. It makes your eyes look a little bit bigger. And once the glue dries, it should look a little bit like this. Or better if you've done well. And this is just comparing it with and without the bottom eyelashes.